Hey guys, Dr. Ahmed Al Hasni here, and welcome to another intraoral scanner unboxing. We are at the end of 2023, and there have been a number of scanners arriving at IDD HQ, including this one right here, the Panda Smart intraoral scanner. This is a scanner I've been asked about a lot, so I'm super excited to finally have it here. Some of you may have never heard about the scanner before, and in fact, here in New Zealand, I don't think it has a huge presence, and we're even super lucky to have the first one in the country to be able to test and review for you. So let's go over a little bit of background before we get into the scanner unboxing. The company that makes this scanner is Freck D Technology, and it's based in the Ningbo region of China which seems to be some sort of Silicon Valley of China or something, because so many scanners come from there. The company started in 2015, and for four whole years, they did not release any products. Rather, all they did was carry out a lot of R&D. In 2019, they released their first scanner, the Panda P2, and then three years later, they released the Panda P3, its predecessor. I was actually involved in providing the company some feedback about that scanner because although it was okay, the P3 felt like in the current market, a lot of things could be improved. And finally, we have the Panda Smart. And this is the latest and greatest from Frecti Technology and the fourth generation Panda Scanner. So that's enough talk. Let's see what you get with the scanner. First things first is it comes in this hard kind of metal case. And so we just open it up here. It does have a, a locking mechanism over here. And we click these open. I feel like I'm opening kind of like a, a case of money or something. And this is what you get with the Panda scanner. You got a QR code, which no doubtably goes to some instructions or something and a packing list. As you can see, you get the scanner, the scanner bracket, calibration tool, which is interesting, protective casing, USBs, etc. So let's get the scanner out first and foremost. This is the Panda scanner in all its glory, and this has the protective casing on it, or you know, a protective scanner sleeve. It seems these scanner sleeves just slip on and off and don't go on two ways. So one thing that really jumps out at me about this scanner is just how light it is. And I'm told by the company that this scanner weighs 137 grams, which is kind of crazy. You know, that's something like a, an iPhone. Honestly, it almost just feels like a, a heavy kind of fountain pen or something. Kind of incredible how these companies are packing so much technology into these lightweight products. At 137 grams, this makes this scanner one of the lightest scanners on the market and definitely the lightest, latest generation scanner. I reviewed a long time ago the WOW scanner, which was around 110 grams, I believe. So this is not that far off, quite incredible. Now, at the back here, we have a USB-A, and this is a 3.0 cable. So something that's really good is that when I gave the company feedback about the P3, I made it very clear to them that a lot of these connection hubs and, and power plugs have to go in this market. You know, to really exist in this market, you just have to have direct USB connection. So this is great to see. What else do we have here? We got these scanner tips. And so the company gives you three scanner tips here. I am totally wrong. It looked like there was three, but there are actually six scanner tips here, which is quite a, an incredible number of scanner tips given the, the price of the scanner. Now, all these scanner tips, just having a quick look at them, do look like they are the same size. So there isn't this adult size and child size. They all are the same size. This one looks slightly smaller. Let me just check. Nope, they all look like they are the same size. So you got six scanner tips right here with the scanner. And I am told by the company that these scanner tips can be autoclaved up to 100 times. 
and each scanner tip costs 45 USD. And what this means basically for you is it's around 45 cents per patient to scan them because obviously between every patient you'll be autoclaving these scanner tips. Now what else do we have here? A standard desk cradle here and this will simply house the scanner like this and this will sit on your desk. If we just pick up the scanner and get one of these tips on, as you can see, click on, click off, nice and easy, and this will be plugged into your computer. One interesting thing to note about the Panda scanner is that, as you can see, this is a white color. Uh, the company has done something really interesting in that they actually offer six different colors. Red, white, yellow, silver, purple, blue. Pretty interesting, we haven't really seen that in the scanner market and I think it's quite a cutesy thing to offer to make it a little bit more personalized, fit the aesthetic of your practice, maybe you have a red dental chair or something, but you can get these in different colors. The other thing to note is how much does the scanner cost? And the company informs me that the RRP or recommended retail price is around 14 to 15,000 USD. Now, obviously, this is going to depend. You know, many of you watching this video will be all around the world, and the price in the United States will be different to the price in Middle East or India. That's just how the world is. And so, to get an accurate price, I would definitely recommend just speaking with your distributor of these products. Lastly, what else do we have here? We have a calibration tool. And this looks like a pretty stock standard calibration tool. You have a USB cable, so it's kind of nice that it's just powered from USB. You would obviously put your scanner into this calibration tool. And the interesting thing I'm told by the company is that the scanner is technically calibration free. At least that's what they told me. And then I asked them, at the time, so why is there a calibration tool with the scanner? And they said, look, you only really have to calibrate the scanner once when you first get it, and that's just to ensure that you know nothing has been damaged or the scanner hasn't been dropped or something during transport. But once you calibrate it once in your office, as long as the scanner is not dropped, you don't have to periodically calibrate it. So in a way, it is calibration free, the company claims, but you get the tool there. And finally, a USB. Quite stock standard in this intraoral scanner market. A USB, SanDisk, 16 gigabytes with the software on it. And once you've downloaded the software, you can use it for whatever you like. Now, speaking about the software, I'm personally really curious how it is with this scanner. Because hopefully we all know by now, with intraoral scanners, it is a software game. And that's because basically every intraoral scanner is fast these days. And that's what I expect from this one too. When I tested the software in the Panda P3, I had a lot of things to tell the company. And when I have seen this scanner be showcased in conferences and trade shows, they have made a huge difference to the software. So I'm really excited to test that out and let you guys know how the software is in the scanner. I am told by the company that the software included with this scanner is completely free, including free updates. And that has become kind of the market norm. There is also a completely free cloud storage for up to five gigabytes of data. And so completely subscription free and no yearly fees. And so that is it basically for the unboxing of the Panda Smart, one of the most lightweight scanners on the market. Have you heard of this scanner before? I would love to hear any of your comments below and keep an eye out for our review article and review video that will be published early next year. To keep up to date with all things digital dentistry, check out instituteofdigitaldentistry.com. Thanks for watching.